Should Mason Mount start for Manchester United ahead of the game against Chelsea? I certainly think that's an option that should be looked at by Eric Ten Hag and Manchester United. We'll be discussing what he offers and what he can potentially do in this game against Chelsea as we build up. It's only about three days away now. It's another huge game for Eric Ten Hag with his future in question by every game, every bad performance, every poor result. Um, but yeah, let's talk Mason Mount. For me, 100% he should be starting Manchester United's game against Chelsea. Uh, yeah, Manchester United's game against Chelsea. After after performances by Rashford on that left wing, the cameo that, that he put in when he came on, I think he thoroughly deserves to start the game. And it's so important for me to utilise him in a game like this. He's probably going to be coming up against... Um, who plays on the... Gusto. I think, actually, no, I think Gusto's injured, so there's going to be someone else on that right-hand side for Chelsea. I think having Mount on that side, listen, when we, in the past few games, we've, or majority of the season, we've used two pacey wingers on that left-hand side and right-hand side, and we've got Nacho and Rashford, and they haven't really worked out. I think maybe having Mount on there gives you a different avenue to explore, and it gives you a different quality. As I said, you look at Rashford's game, in particular against Brentford, he was very, very, very poor. He struggled to get on the ball, he struggled to make an impact in the game. Um, and that was that was the main main issue with him. Now, look at Mason Mount. He got the goal when he came on, um, and it was a great finish. As I said, Mason Mount's a very, very unselfish player and could definitely have an impact on this game. Listen, in this game against Chelsea, we're away from home. We don't really have a particularly good record away at Chelsea. It's about getting players on the ball, and Mason Mount's only one player who can play football, and he's got a very, very good touch on him. I think the performance that, that the left wingers particularly Rashford I've put in, I think he does deserve to be dropped, I think um, his performance against Brentford was really, really poor and he has been poor this season, rumours that he's been carrying a knock since the Nottingham Forest game, does give another opportunity for someone like Mount to come in, give Rashford a break, listen, based on performance, based on if he's injured, he shouldn't be starting the game anyway, we don't want to be rushing players with injury and Eric Den Haag does seem to have very much, he does seem very, very reluctant to drop certain players for Manchester United, you look at Bruno and Rashford, even when they're playing really, really bad, they continue to stay on for Manchester United. And that's something that's been throughout the whole season. And yes, they're very, very they're two important players for us and probably our biggest players. But when you're not playing well, regardless of who the player is, you have to you have to be taken off. That's just the way it works. Um, and listen, what can Mount offer? As I said, he's very, very good on the ball. He can give us an out lot of time because he can he can keep the ball in tight areas. He can score goals. He can adapt on that left-hand side. Um, and for me, whether he's not on the left-hand side, he definitely should be starting the game um, against Chelsea. As I said, there's another opportunity for a player. We, we've we missed him, I think, since injury and we, since he's been injured. And he definitely does have quality that Manchester United will need. Um, I think I think his quality is valuable. And for £60 million, we have no other choice but to sign him. I mean, we yes, but to play him. We've got nine, nine ten games left in, of the season. Yeah, potentially 11 if we make it to the Carabao Cup fi uh, FA Cup final. We've got to use every game that we have. I think it's 10 games left, actually, or maybe 11, I don't know. But we need to use every game that we have and utilise the whole squad that we have because this will be done with injuries. Certain players need to be dropped. And I probably wouldn't be opposed to seeing maybe Mount in that number 10 as well. But we know out of the players to be dropped are Rashford and Fernandes. It's most likely to be Rashford. And look at Bruno. He plays every game available for Manchester United. And that is... That is worrying. But yes, you want, he's a player that you want to have on the pitch every game. But if his performances are not there, you just have to drop him based on merit. And as I said, I think Mount can have a really, really big impact for Manchester United in this game. Um, his former club, obviously. When we look at how Manchester United played against Brentford, it was very, very long ball. We weren't really using the ball through midfield and transition it because the midfield was really, really poor. So having Mount maybe in that midfield gives us a little bit of an outlet. We can control the ball as well and pass the ball out wide utilise it in tight spaces and cause issues for Chelsea because they are a team that's certainly vulnerable. Um, I think if we can attack Chelsea, we can certainly cause issues for them. Um, but particularly that midfield has looked really, really poor recently. So we need to try and change that midfield as quickly as we can because, listen, that midfield, Chelsea midfield is decent and they are going to cause problems. They've got threats of Cole Palmer. They've got very, very big players who can cause issues for us. But as I said, we'll be building up to the game with the preview. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. This has been a video. Does Mount deserve to start against Chelsea? I think he does based on merit. I think we need him back from injury and the performance that he put in. The last two cameos from him have been pretty decent. I mean, he almost won us the game against Bramford. But yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Peace.